We process that in the back office. But what makes this system slightly different is that we also introduced a dynamic pricing algorithm. So the intention is to keep um, two spaces free for every 10. So when people arrive, they can find a space easily. And the way to do that is to influence their behavior. So we can change the prices, but inform them of where the slightly cheaper price uh, spaces are, whether it's easy availability, and we get them to change their behavior. And we do it by, um, it's not like the stock exchange where it changes every minute. At the moment, they're changing about once a month. But as people get more and more familiar with the system, it will be able to be changed uh, more frequently. And we, we make the data available. So it's, it's available on, well, the information is available on variable message sites at the side of the road, but it's also available on the internet, on their smartphone, through app developers who um, have actually got a feed into navigation systems so they can inform people. So even though we reduced prices at 60% of the spaces and only increased them at 27%, we got a 2% increase in revenue, which wasn't the objective, but we cut the circling traffic by 10%. Brilliant. What this does is for the very first time, it gives the local authority, um, it gives the local authority a policy adaptive tool for on-street parking. Because previously, you just put it in and forget it because it's too difficult to do anything about. And there's, there's, um, there's one here at the bottom, which is the one that the, oh, this is all the data merged. And there's one here at the bottom, which the authorities love because they can just sit and watch the money coming in. Okay. So this could be my last slide, so I'll relax.